सो गाइज द क्वेश्चन दट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टू डेज दिस नेक्स्ट क्रिएटर एलिमेंट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न थ्री डिफेंट अप्रोच फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच इट इल दी एंड नाउ लेट सी द सेकंड अप्रोच सो इन द सेकंड अप्रोच वी विल बी यूजिंग ए स्टैक means we will be maintaining a stack to store all the next greater element of this numstu okay so in order to do that what we will be doing we will be traversing this numstu array from right to left and while traversing we will be performing some operations for example if i start from here i will be having a temporary array in which i will be storing all the next greater element of this numstu okay so what i will be doing first i am here i will check if the stack is empty it means we don't have any next greater element exist for that current element so in that case we will simply write minus 1 at the ith position so we will simply write Minus one. After doing that, we will push that current element to the stack. So we will push two into the stack. Now we will move ahead. Okay. Now this current element is four. I will check. Is the stack empty? No, it's not. So if the stack is not empty, we need to check the topmost element. In this case, this two is the topmost element. So we need to check the topmost element. If the topmost element is greater than the current element, that means that is going to be the answer. But if it is lesser than the current element, then we need to pop. all those elements that are smaller than the current elements and we need to keep popping till the stack becomes empty or till we find a greater element if the stack becomes empty we will add minus 1 and if we find a greater element then that greater element is going to be the answer okay so in this case the current element is 4 stack is not empty the topmost element is 2 which means the topmost element is lesser than the current element so we will pop all the elements that are smaller than the current element so we will pop this Okay now my stack becomes empty so what i need to do i need to take minus 1 so for this four also there is no greater element exist so that's why i have written minus 1 over here after that we will push that current element to the stack so in my stack the topmost element is four okay for this three is the stack empty no it's not now we will check the topmost element is the topmost element in the stack greater than the current element yes it is so in that case if the topmost element is greater that element is going to be the answer so for this three the next greater element is 4 after doing all these things what we need to do whatever the elements we are asked to find the next greater elements from this nums1 we will check their index in nums2 and based on that index we will return the value from this answer array so the same thing we have done here in the code now what we are doing we are we are traversing the nums2 array we are checking if the stack is empty we will take minus 1 but if the stack is not empty okay then we need to check the topmost element if the topmost element is smaller then we need to keep popping all the smaller elements till the stack becomes empty or till we find a greater element okay and after popping all the elements one of these conditions will become false so if the stack becomes empty we will take minus 1 but if the stack is not empty that means we find a greater element so in that case we will take that greater element to our temporary array okay now after doing all these things we will push that current element to the stack for each element in nums1 first we will find its index in nums2 and based on that index we will be taking the value of that particular index from this temporary array to our answer array for example for this 4 this 4 is at the index number 2 so i will be returning the value of this index number 2 in my answer array but this is also not an optimized solution now let's see how we can optimize it